Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. In our previous video, we saw how we can uh, store a JSON data in a table column. In this video, we will see how to query the data directly from a table into rows and columns. Okay, so what we can do is, uh, I will be just uh, giving this alias as customer order CO and CO dot business entity ID CO dot first name CO dot last name okay and these are JSON strings so in our previous video we saw if we have to get these JSON so we can use the cross apply function cross apply and open JSON so with open JSON we'll have to give the column name over here okay first of all we'll give the column name okay and uh, so we have given the column name and then here uh, I'll give an alias as well so as this also I'll give as an alias as X so this will go as JSON value okay, X dot value comma within this it is uh, sales order ID yeah it's sales order ID it's a dollar dot and I will give it alias as sales order ID okay uh, now let's just uh, run for this particular only yeah yeah so we can see you know we have got the sales order ID now let's pull some more columns okay uh, then this is order date I think we can, we, can, we can pick it from here order date order date and uh, let's pick only total due right rather than picking all the columns so we are just picking only three columns okay now let's just query this okay and we can see some of the customers which have two orders have split it into uh, two two records Right, because uh, this this guy who has uh, ID of 16902 he had two orders so this two orders have been split into two right so this is the sales order ID 1 this is sales order ID 2 and this guy also has you know split into two right yeah so whoever plays multiple orders like this guy he has three orders so we have got three orders in three different rows right so this is very easy to query the JSON data back from the column from the JSON column where we try to store uh, the JSON data back right uh, here with the above approach so this is the way uh, you know you can uh, store a JSON string into a table column and uh, also validate the table column you can also validate the table column by using this uh, this check constraint is JSON and after that if you want to retrieve if you want to query back this data you can also do the same thing by using some of the functions that SQL Server gives like cross apply right then open JSON and JSON value functions right so this is the way you can query the data back so this is it for today I think uh, you would have liked this video uh, please let me know your comments and suggestions and uh, uh, thank you for watching this video please like and please subscribe have a great day thank you